Delmar Engineering Laboratories, we pioneered what we call the low-mass, high-performance tow-target concept. This concept was a result of our close working relationship with the Air Proving Ground Center and the Air Defense Command of the U.S. Air Force. The first weapons training system derived from this concept was built to satisfy a training requirement for the F-86D aircraft, then being equipped with the new 2.75-inch folding fin aerial rockets. It was not long before the air branches of all the U.S. military and naval services were employing similar Delmar systems. The outstanding advantages that the Delmar systems offered in performance, realism, and economy were soon recognized by the RCAF, and other free world nations. So that over the past decade, more than 100,000 Del Mar targets have been employed throughout the world, more than all other modern targets combined. The complete training system for support of aerial rocket firings included this subsonic radar reflecting target, a wire tow reel with an air turbine motor for reeling the target in and out during flight, a launcher to carry, launch, and recover the target during flight, and a radar optical scorer that mounted on the firing aircraft and photographed the rocket strike against the target. Today, however, new high-performance Mach 1 and Mach 2 aircraft have taken their places with the operational squadrons of our Air Defense Command, our fleet, and the interceptor commands of friendly free world nations. These new supersonic aircraft are armed with deadly radar or infrared homing missiles. The F-100, the F-104, the F-105, and the F-8U with Sidewinder. The F-101B, the F-102, and the F-106 with the Falcon series, as well as the nuclear ballistic rocket Genie. And the hot new Navy F-4H with Sparrow III and Sidewinder. Although the tactical procedures for the employment of these various aircraft will vary greatly, depending upon the armament and the nature of the mission, for intercept training missions, two basic targets will satisfy all normal requirements. The purpose of this film is to show low-cost supersonic weapons training systems that are already in being at Del Mar and are available now to support aerial missile firings by aircraft at speeds up to Mach 1.5. The basic component of Del Mar supersonic weapons training systems for use with the radar homing missiles, such as Sidewinder Sarah, the Falcon Gar 1, 3, and 11, and Sparrow 3, as well as the Genie ballistic rocket, is this probe nose supersonic radar reflecting target the model DF-6RC. This low-cost target is made of lightweight pressed fiber and polystyrene and contains this spherical radar reflector, which provides a virtual sphere of reflectivity from any attack angle. The reflector presents an image that current automatic fire control radars can lock onto at normal acquisition ranges. And the target is picked up by surface radars at slant ranges consistent with realistic scramble operational practices. Although the target is a key component in a weapons training system for a supersonic aircraft, such a system must also provide for the in-flight launch and recovery of the target at the operational speeds of the supersonic aircraft. This model DX-6A supersonic tow reel is an externally stored turbine-powered reel designed for towing aerial targets at supersonic speeds. The reel retains all the desirable features of the performance-proved DX-4A reel, the Aero 43, plus improvements in reeling speed, tow line capacity, and airspeed capability. It consists of an eight-blade variable pitch air turbine, a transmission, an accessory section, and a drum on which wire is stored. Over eight miles of .045 wire may be reeled out at the rate of 2,500 feet per minute. This reel is used on such aircraft as the F-8U in conjunction with an over-the-wing Delmar launcher, the DL-6, specifically designed to carry, launch, and receive the probe nose target in flight. 
The F-8U-2 has been operational with the U.S. fleet since 1959. Capable of speeds approaching Mach 2, the Crusader II is designed to fire both the radar and infrared homing Sidewinder missiles. This F-8U is equipped with a complete Delmar supersonic weapons training system to support the firing of radar homing Sidewinder II Saras. The system consists of the new high-performance DX-6A tow reel, the over-the-wing DL-6 launcher, and the low-cost supersonic radar target. Note the smooth launch, stable flight, and reliable in-flight recovery of the target with this Delmar system for the F-8U, which features a separate tow reel and launcher. So much for the radar homing missiles and ballistic rockets. Now let us have a look at the heat-seeking missile systems. For the firing of infrared homing missiles such as Sidewinder 1 and 2 IRA and the Falcon Gar 2 and 4, a Delmar supersonic flare target is provided, the DF-6 MFC. This flare target contains the same radar reflector as the radar target previously shown. It is equipped with a command receiver and power pack to actuate infrared flares and visual augmentation equipment. Flares are ignited by a signal from the attack or tow aircraft, which is received on a battery-powered UHF receiver in the target. Delmar probe-nose supersonic targets are only 15 inches in diameter and about 9 feet long. The DF-6 MFC target carries four infrared flares. The Delmar flares provide the radiation necessary for the homing of the infrared missiles. Flares may be fired singly, in pairs, or in a four-flare salvo. This supersonic target is compatible for use with present scoring devices and offers provisions for incorporating missed distance indicating equipment, which will be discussed later. For visual augmentation, this DS-7 assembly is quickly inserted in the target midsection. The DS-7 carries 24 powder cartridges. When the command signal from the attacking aircraft is received by the target, these cartridges are ejected into the air stream, one at a time, at preset intervals of three to five seconds. Clearly visible powder puffs provide positive identification of target prior to the firing of air-to-air -air or surface-to-air homing weapons. The Delmar supersonic target is designed to be used with high-performance aircraft with or without the visual augmentation equipment, depending upon the training exercise. The Delmar missed distance indicating system consists of a transmitter and antenna, an audio amplifier, a computer, a power supply, and a receiver. It is used not only to trigger the powder markers, but also for telemetering missed distance measurements to the firing crews or remote monitoring stations for immediate display or permanent recording. This subsonic MDI target is designed with three fins for best MDI performance, and it can be equipped with the same flares that are used with a standard Delmar four-fin targets. Delmar MDI targets are equipped with visual augmentation assemblies that carry powder cartridges, which can be ignited to serve as visual codes to measure missed distances between the weapons and the targets during firing exercises, as well as to increase the visibility of the target at extreme ranges. The powder cartridges are triggered by the unique passive MDI system, which is based upon a radar Doppler principle. For certain aircraft applications, Delmar combines the tow reel and launcher into a single integrated unit. These units are called combination reel launchers. This lightweight commercial aircraft is demonstrating the performance of the supersonic target using a prototype model DXL-6C combination reel launcher. Note how the ejection of the powder clearly marks the target for quick visual acquisition during bright daylight. Next, the target flares are ignited, 
producing infrared radiation in the proper micron range required for the safe homing of air-to-air -air or surface-to-air heat-seeking missiles. Powder may be emitted simultaneously with flare operation or in sequence to it. This configuration of combination real launcher permits the target and launcher to be lowered far enough below the wing to launch and recover in undisturbed air and then raise back to be carried in a horizontal stowed position for takeoff, transport, and landing. The U.S. Air Force's F-100 has been fitted with a Del Mar supersonic weapons training system for evaluation. This flight sequence demonstrates the aerodynamic performance of the combination real launcher and supersonic target at the operational speeds of aircraft like the F-100. The F-4H all-weather U.S. Navy attack fighter has an extremely high thrust-to-weight ratio, which provides it with remarkable climb, acceleration, altitude, and speed performance. It is typical of some of the newer weapon systems going into operation. To provide a training system for such new high mock aircraft, Del Mar has introduced the DXL-6D combination reel launcher. It integrates the new high-performance DX-6A tow reel with an aerodynamically clean launcher section that is specially designed to carry, launch, and recover the probe nose supersonic target at speeds to Mach 1.5. Many nations of the free world have selected the F-104 aircraft as the mainstay of their interceptor forces. Because of the F-104's tremendous speed, power, and outstanding climb capabilities, crews flying these aircraft can scramble and reach intercept altitudes in record time. But once at altitude, such crews are only as efficient in the employment of their weapons as they have been trained to be. The armament for the F-104 for intercept missions is the deadly Sidewinder missile. Therefore, any suitable weapons training system for the F-104 must provide a target which will attract the Sidewinder while performing aerodynamically like the F-104 itself. And the only thing that meets these requirements and performs like an F-104 is another F-104, towing a Del Mar supersonic target. Note the firing of the Sidewinder and then this slow motion recording of its flight as it locks on and homes in for a strike on one of two Del Mar flare targets. Then two more flare targets are rapidly destroyed by the Sidewinders from one F-104. And finally, a Sidewinder hit on a flare target as recorded on the firing aircraft's gun camera. The crews then return to evaluate their highly realistic training exercise. With Del Mar weapons training systems, no aircraft or personnel except those operationally assigned to the squadron are necessary to conduct a training mission. And the training equipment can be readily transferred from one aircraft to another in a matter of minutes or removed instantly for combat readiness. A joint problem of the free world nations is to maintain an ever ready vigil against a possible aerial attack. We have the weapons to deter such an attack. We have the men to man those weapons and we have the will to employ those weapons if need be. We must then be sure beyond a shadow of a doubt that we have also the capability to employ those weapons effectively if the supreme test should come. To do this, we must train vigilantly and constantly with realistic weapons training systems, training systems that we can afford to employ.